Hi guys, Barnaby from Spurred On, and this is your Wednesday edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk. First up, Bild in Germany say that Dortmund's Henrik Mkhitaryan, the genius midfielder aged 27 Armenian international, has rejected a new contract there and is interesting not only Arsenal and Chelsea, but also Tottenham Hotspur. Now for me, this is an example of how our transfer targets have upped in standard because we've made it into the Champions League. However, what I would say is, is it a likely signing for Spurs ahead of your Woolwiches and your Chelsea's? It doesn't seem so to me. He's 27 years old, as I mentioned. He's in his prime. He will be wanting huge wages to move from Dortmund. And I just can't see, with the stadium being built and just Daniel Levy's general demeanour, him going above, say, 100 grand a week. So for me, transfer rating-wise, that's only one out of five. It's such a shame because he's such an incredible player. When we played them in the Europa League this season and they won 5-1 in aggregate, he, I think, was pretty much man of the match in both games, uh, certainly when I saw him out there in Dortmund. Very impressive player indeed. I would love to see him at the club, but I just can't see it happening. Second bit of news today, ESPN have said that Lyon are now in negotiations with Spurs over their French striker Alexander Lacazette. He scored 23 goals for them this season. He's a big name player. Lots of clubs are put in bids for him. West Ham, again, uh, swimming in the same transfer waters as us, are desperate to get hold of him, just like they are Batshuayi. Uh, however, rumours, like I said, are that Spurs are in negotiations. Their chairman, Leon's chairman, is a very tough negotiator, and him and Daniel Levy have had some uh, problems before when, when uh, dealing with uh, the Hugo Lloris transfer. Apparently, we've put a bid in of £24 million. They want minimum £30 million. I've seen people on social media say, just pay the extra £6 million and get this done. But you know what Levy's like. He won't want to. And if he's got a sniff that Lacazette would prefer to join Spurs and go somewhere else, then he will hold out till the very last minute to try and pay that money. He's an exciting player. He's 25 years old. It's a good age to get in a striker. Could it happen? I'm going to say three out of five transfer rating. It seems like the right kind of player. But like I said yesterday, apparently went for Mbolo as well at Basel. And of course, we have interest in Bashuai. So it seems like brinkmanship to me. Which one will blink first? Which of those clubs that we're dealing with will blink first? It remains to be seen. Let us know in the comments box who you want us to sign out of those three. Uh, final bit of news today, it's been everywhere, you'll know about it. Lots of rumours, Sky Sports, BBC, talking about the fact that we may be willing to let Alex Pritchard Go. Now, I feel sorry for Alex Pritchard because the season before this, uh, he had a fantastic season on loan at Brentford and he was going to be given a chance in the first team squad last season but then picked up a terrible ankle injury and had to go under the knife. Uh, I feel like we should give him more chance. If his ankle is now better, give him the pre-season. I know he was out on loan at West Brom and he didn't rip it up there but they were in a relegation battle and you don't need uh, really great quality footballers in your squad when you're a Tony Pulis team in a relegation battle. They're never going to play. So let's get him back in pre-season. All the internationals won't be able to play the pre-season uh, because they'll have been out uh, at the Euros and uh, Copper America. So there'll be spaces for players to come in and make a spot their own. I think the fullbacks, Trippier and Ben Davis, will have a good chance. Although Ben Davis dependent on how far Wales go. And uh, I think there'll be room for players like Pritchard to have a go and take a chance if they can. So I say let's keep him for a bit longer. The rumours are that we'll let him go for £8 million. If we can get £8 million for a player who's never really played a Premier League game uh, or started a Premier League game, then that, again, would be that would be up there with Daniel Levy getting £5 million for Kyle Norton in terms of genius. But I want to give Pritchard another chance. He looks like a properly good player, and I want to see how he does in a Spurs shirt. Anyway, guys, let us know what you thought of those three transfer rumours in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook, Spurred on TV, and keep supporting the boys, England and all our internationals everywhere as the Euros come along. Come on, you Spurs. Hello and welcome to Spurred On. This is another episode of Spurverts. I'm here with Craig Mitch oh, as yeah. usual.